Yes, ma'am. I'll be first. Keep your head down until I tell you. For show and tell today, I have brought an authentic bird's nest. As a special treat, I have also invited the owner of the nest. Now, as you may or may not realize, bird nests are very difficult to build. Therefore, I have asked the owner himself to explain some of the problems he might have had with the construction of this beautiful home. <laughs> That's interesting. Now tell us what happened after your fight with the city planning commission. <laughs> For show and tell today, I have brought this leaf. You will note that I left the tree where it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, here I am again for show and tell. And guess what I brought today? I have things in here that will thrill you and chill you. I have things in here that will fill you with fear and with terror and horror. I have things in here that will... Yes, ma'am? All the life has gone out of show and tell. This is my report on our animal friends. Now many of you city kids are not acquainted with nature's noble creatures. Therefore, as a special treat, I have brought for you today a real live animal. What is it, a chicken? Now, in my report, I shall discuss various animals such as the one I have here. Afterwards, if there are any questions, I shall be happy to answer them. It looks like a moose to me. Some people think that animals were put here on Earth to serve humans. One wonders what sort of response we might get if we were to ask the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't ask the animals. Now, this animal I have brought here today is called a dog. You are kidding. You're putting us on. I still think it's a small moose. I agree. All right, you guys, cut it out. Here, moosey, moosey, moosey. How do we know that's a real dog? Yeah, maybe it's a kid in a dog suit. Animals are usually friendly unless needlessly provoked. Well, it could have been a kid in a dog suit. <coughs> Today, for show and tell, I have brought my brother's dog. Which may turn out to be the biggest mistake of my life. The dog is regarded as the friend of man. This particular breed is generally quite gentle. And this particular dog is both gentle and intelligent. Although he does have his faults, such as flirting with the girl in the front row. I got an A on my report, Snoopy. Because you are such a big help, I'm going to treat you to an ice cream cone. Woo! You are that big a help. The show and tell today. I have a treat for you. I'm presenting my big brother. Now actually, he's my big brother only because he was lucky enough to be born first. Stand up straight. I'm trying to get an A in show and tell. Don't goof it for me. Come in a variety of sizes and quality. Anyway, this is my big brother and I just thought I would present him to you today for show and tell. Thank you. Well, here I am again for show and tell. And guess what I brought today? I have things in here to thrill you and chill you. I have things in here to fill you with fear, with terror, with horror. I have things in here to... Yes, ma'am? All the life has gone out of show and tell. For show and tell today, I have brought you an original document. This was written by an actual caveman and was discovered only recently by a farmer in Iowa. 
I came into its possession through the exchange of money and certain bits of valuable information. Show and lie is my best subject. Today in Show and Tell, I'm going to tell you about some of the inventions that happened in the United States between 1870 and 1900. I brought my brother's dog, Snoopy, to help demonstrate, which may have been a serious mistake. Anyway, I will also talk about famous American firsts. The first paper bag was made in 1872 by Luther Cromwell. The first comic strip was The Yellow Kid in 1895. The first chewing gum was patented by William Semple in Ohio in 1869. A Mr. Smithson created the first ice cream sundae in Wisconsin in 1888. The first drinking straw also came along in 1888, invented by Mr. Stove in Washington, D.C. The first toothpick was patented in 1872 by Mr. Silas Noble. The first sneakers happened in 1868. And the first earmuffs were created by Chester Greenwood in 1877 in Connecticut. Oh yes, ma'am, I do have more important things to talk about. The first pizzeria opened in New York City in 1895. Sorry about that, ma'am. My assistant got a little carried away. Cool it, Beagle, or else I'm gonna flunk this report. Moving right along, the first four-wheel roller skates were invented by James Plimpton in 1863. This became a nationwide fad. <laughs> yes, ma'am, just a moment, please. Listen, you stupid beagle. You're going to get me thrown out of class. Now shape up. I'll conclude my report with sports in America. In 1891, Dr. James Naismith thought there should be a game that could be played indoors. So he nailed two peach baskets to the balcony of the school gymnasium. And thus, basketball was invented. The first inter-college football game where a person actually carried the ball was way back in 1869. The game was played between Harvard and McGill universities. Now that's more like it. And the first professional baseball team was the Cincinnati Red Stockings, way back in 1869. And that ends my report. And my life. Again. I need something for show and tell. I picked you because you're a first round draft pick. Yes, sir. You're going to give me an A for show and tell. A real live dog. Yes, ma'am. Heel, Snoopy. For show and tell today, I have brought a dog. What's so great about that? He doesn't do anything. He just stands there. He looks like he's asleep. A dog is not only man's best friend, but he's also a protector, a defender. A ferocious friend in need. Indeed.
don't know what to do about Snoopy. I should give him a good lecture, the way he carries on. You just 